Hey everyone, Chase here with Silencer Shop, and today we're gonna to talk about how to install and time your muzzle brake or other muzzle devices. We're gonna be installing this dead air chemo muzzle brake. It's gonna keep your recoil really flat and these ports on the side and vents on the top, driving the muzzle down. These do need to be timed. You need to have these horizontally aligned. You might be installing a flash hider like this dead air chemo three prong flash hider. These do not need to be timed. The prongs will break up any flash, so you'll be less flashy. This dead air chemo brake is gonna be better for recoil reduction. First, there's a couple of tools that we're gonna need. Your upper, uh, whether it has a muzzle device already attached or not. A vise or something to secure the upper so you can work on it. You need alcohol in order to clean the old threads. Rock set if you want to attach it a little bit more permanently. Some sort of wrench to break the old device off. Your new muzzle device. Shims in order to time it. And a torque wrench to make sure it's torqued properly. So first thing we have to do is get your old muzzle device off. A lot of uppers will come pre-installed with an A2 style birdcage or maybe another manufacturer's muzzle device that won't work with your QD system for your suppressor. So to take it off, easiest way is just grab a wrench or an armorer's wrench. This will just go into your standard ratcheting style wrench. Remember, do not use your torque wrench. Torque wrenches are for torquing things on, not torquing things off, and you can ruin the calibration on there. So we're just gonna use a standard wrench. From the factory, these can be on there pretty tight, but a little bit of muscle, and they should come right off. If the factory device was installed with a crush washer, make sure you get rid of this and do not reuse it. We're not gonna use crush washers to install new muzzle devices, especially for suppressor mounts. We're gonna use shims to time them accurately, and that's because crush washers don't always crush evenly. It can cause alignment issues, and that's really important when you're using a suppressor to avoid baffle or end cap strikes. You're gonna to wanna to clean the threads both on the barrel and on the muzzle device just to get rid of any sort of old Loctite or factory thread locker, as well as any factory oils that might be left on those machine parts. Just a quick wipe down on the barrel threads until they look clean. Get inside here and clean up this crown as well as the threads inside as best you can. So first we'll roughly set our device on here finger tight. What you're looking for is for this to be about a quarter turn off of perfect. That way when you torque it, it will be in the correct alignment. For a muzzle brake, we want the ports to be horizontal. And if it features ports on the top like this one, you want those aligned vertically. So the dead air shims actually have this key that show you how much you need to back this off. So you're not just grabbing shims and guessing. If yours don't have this sort of key, you can just play around, start with one or two shims and then add progressively one at a time until you get the muzzle device in the correct orientation, which will be about right here, a quarter turn from being tight. So we'll back this muzzle device off and install our shims. For this one, we needed three of these shims. And if you wanted to go ahead and rock set a device on, this would be the step now. You just go ahead and put a couple of drops on here before tightening your muzzle device on. A little goes a long way with these sort of ceramic thread lockers. You do not need a lot and they stay really, really secure. If you ever do need to take off a muzzle device that's been rock set on, just dipping it in some boiling water for about five or 10 minutes before you loosening it will make the job a lot easier. Thread on the muzzle device now that our shims are installed. See we line up about a quarter turn away from where we want the device, which is gonna be ports completely horizontal, top ports completely vertical, aligned with the rest of the barrel. So at this point, you could use an armorer's wrench to install your muzzle device. We went ahead and went with a crow's foot wrench. Either one will work just fine. Just make sure that you're using a good torque wrench and you're torqued to the correct spec. Dead Air says anywhere between 25 and 35 foot pounds for their muzzle devices. That's gonna be about typical for most brands, but make sure you double check. We have our torque wrench set to 30 foot pounds, right in between that median spec range. We'll just tighten it until we get click. So now we have our muzzle device properly torqued on. We have it lined up correctly. So now we'll get optimal recoil reduction. We have our ports going sideways, our top ports venting upwards. And if we want to attach a suppressor, like the Sandman S, you're good to go. Thanks so much for reading the blog, watching the video, and make sure if you have any questions or comments to go ahead and leave them down below.